Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you're looking behind me, that's the cool Among Us emergency meeting that Axel Trejo shared with me. Friends, I showed you how to create a character in Code Blocks. Now, let's create one in Tinkercad. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So I'm going to start by creating a brand new empty design. Of course, to do that, we hit Create New Design. Sizes, close to right. I'm going to go back to basic shapes and I'm going to build with a cylinder and a sphere. When I bring them out, I'm going to stretch that to 24. I'm going to stretch this to 48. Let's select the two of these and choose a line and do center and center. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to raise it up 10 by grabbing the handle, going to any height, but then changing it to 10. I'm going to click on this one and do control D and I'm going to raise it up but I want to type its height 20, so I've got them lined up just like that. You can see that quickly we made the body. So let's grab these two bottom pieces and do Control D and use them to make a leg. Right now they are 20 by 20 on every side. We want to shrink them down to 10 by 10 on every side. So hold down Shift and then type the number 10 and press Enter, and they will all shrink to 10 on a side. Let's make this one taller. Remember it was something like 13.5 on our other one. And then group those two. Makes a nice little leg. Do control D and I'm gonna use my arrow key to move it across. I'm gonna go two clicks in between them. Let's go over to our body and take it quickly and group it. Let's click these measurements and adjust them. Instead of 40, let's put 29. Let's make it 24 wide and let's make it 16 thick, which are numbers similar to what we used in the code blocks. Now let's grab the two of them, choose a line, make this the master, and let's do center and center. Let's grab that body shape, lift it crazy high, and let's set it for nine. Let's pull our other one over quickly and check. I think that's pretty darn groovy. Let's do our face shield, friends. We're gonna do control D, Pull it towards us. I want you to take this height and I want you to make it 12. I want you to make it white so that it's easier to see. We need to change this number to 16. And we need to change the thickness to 10. Now I'm going to tell you to pull that towards yourself so you can see it. Make sure you click that one. Hold shift and click the large one. And we're going to do a line. And we want to make the orange one the master. I'm going to tell you to bring it to the very middle and I'm going to tell you to bring it to the middle up. Notice we're lined up pretty close with our other one. If we use the arrow key to come out one, two clicks, we can turn and take a peek at how close that is. I'm going to come out a third click and then I think I'm going to change this to 11 and press enter. And then if you do control up, you can raise it up so that those are lined up really similar. Let's make our backpack. Control D as well. This one we're going to nudge backwards. And this one we're going to go 16 high. We're going to go 10 this way. And let's go 12 this way. Use your arrow keys to pull it back so you can see it. And then once again, we're going to shift click the large piece, do a line, and we want it to be aligned vertically center and we want it aligned on the front center. Sometimes it's easier to click the corner of the cube so you can see that. I'm gonna click the back corner so we can see how it lines up. Now we just need to pull it out to the spot where we want. I think I'm gonna change that to 15 and then you can do control up to get it exactly the way you want. So check it out. We now have two ways we can build Among Us characters. I'm going to nudge this guy to the right. And now let's quickly change him into the red character. Click, click, and click. Just like that. Alrighty, friends. So thanks to the skills that Axel shared with me, we now have a sweet little custom in Tinkercad Among Us character. I'm going to move this little dude away. You can grab this little guy at this point. If you want to group him, you can. Just make sure that you turn on multicolor. See how he turns all red? If you turn multicolor, you can bring him back. If you want to make a second one, you can do Control D. 
use your little rotate to snap them around a few degrees and if you double click you can edit the red and instead make it a different color as well do not forget <laughs> you do have a backpack bam among us characters all over the place tons of room friends for you to make awesome things if you haven't seen axel's creation i will put a link to it up above and of course friends don't forget if you make something incredible you think i should see you can hit send to and you can hit invite people you can generate a link and you can copy that link and of course you can share it with me you can find me at hlmodtech on facebook instagram and gmail and if you're looking for me at twitter i am hl tinkercad friends if you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hlmodtech thanks for watching have a great day